I'm Tim the Milkman and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Hey, hey, look who I caught up with. Last time out at the Streetside Classics Car Show, if you'll remember correctly, we shot a Cadillac, a 1930 Cadillac. Well, we got invited back to Jerry's place here to check out some more of his rides, and boy, he's got the rides. Look at this. Hey, Jerry. How you doing, sir? All right, man. Good. Uh, thanks for having us out, sir. This is awesome. My pleasure. What are we looking at here, Jerry? This is a 1937 75 Series Fleetwood Cadillac mm -hmm. limousine. Uh, she weighs 5,200 pounds. She's a little, a little heavy. 5,200 pounds. Okay, that, yeah, that's uh, that's a little lighter than the Cadillac. Yeah, I remember, Greg, you told me that thing's a lot heavier. Seven pounds. Wow. That's a, that's a lot of torque. And the, the paint the body on this thing is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tommy Barday in Center, Al Center Alabama mm -hmm. built this car. Took a few days. I bet. Took a few days. Uh, a lot of lot of hard work. Uh, yeah. We removed all the wood out of the car and replaced it with steel. Well, originally, you, when you say remove the wood, originally what kind of wood came in this car? Was it the floor or the uh, interior walls or what was it? It, it was more of the pillars. And you had some in the inner rockers. Okay. But all the doors were wood supported. Mm -hmm. And I found out wood is for building fires and building houses. Gotcha. Not in cars. You don't. <laughs> Not in cars. Not in cars. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. So all the wood was stripped out, and you replaced it all with a uh, metal. Correct. Yeah. That makes for a nice solid car. Yes, it just, does. I'm looking at the chrome. The piece of chrome down the side of this thing is just beautiful, man. It's, it's flawless. Well, I had one local guy. To, to chrome it and uh, it didn't fit my satisfaction. Gotcha. So we sent it to Paul's Chrome in uh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Wow. So it's done twice. Um, it looks great. It did a good job on it. Well, wow, you. even the door handles, man. Where do you find door handles like that? Uh, you don't. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> you you got to fix what you've got. You had those refurbished or whatever. Yes, yeah. Correct. Gotcha. Well, what kind of power plant's in this thing, Jerry? It's running the late model Vortec with a 4L80. Transmission. Really? Okay. And it's got a 373 gear with a Buick Roadmaster rear end. Okay. Got big drum brakes on the rear and the mm -hmm. largest disc you can get on the front. Wow, Buick parts under there. Yeah. Uh, Buick was known Buick. for their luxury cruisers, weren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. Yeah, so this thing probably gets down the road really good. It rolls real well. Well, can you open the hood and let us take a peek at the engine? Be happy to. Wow, check out that nose emblem, would you? I guess you had to have that refurbished too. That's the new one I bought. Okay. Uh, there's a company in Detroit that remanufactures them. Mm -hmm. The original one, the glass was all broke. Okay, wow. So we just got a new one. Gotcha, all right. So we're looking at a late model Vortec engine here. What cubic inch would that be? 350. All right, the 5.7 liter. Correct. All right, got AC. Got Sanderson headers. And if you notice that where the master cylinder is, there's no booster. Yeah, okay. We had so much room in this cavity, we put the booster back here. Okay, so the booster's all hidden under the dash. Correct. Yeah, okay, that works well, I guess. Works very well. Wow, okay. Now, what kind of suspension are we looking here? This is, is that... a Dodge Dakota pickup truck front end. Uh-huh, okay. I've noticed in the steering, that does not look original. <laughs> The, the, the steering knuckle and steering arm and all that? Yes sir, this is a front steer mm -hmm. and they work wonderful in these little cars. Oh cool. You uh, actually take the rack and you tilt it at a 45 degree, mm -hmm. put a big notch in the cross members so it eliminates a lot of knuckle joints. Okay. And these these front ends work well in these cars. Yeah, it's, it's such a long wheelbase, this thing, it, it, more than likely it rides really good. Rides like a Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. rides like a Cadillac. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I guess your spare tires in there? Well, I have under these, you see this little button right here? Yeah. I flipped that button. Okay. I have a spare tire and a jack here, and the other one I have the battery in. 
Somebody incorporated a trunk latch knob here, uh, lever to do that with, right? Correct. Yeah, that's, that's off of the late model European car. I oh, mean, okay. uh, the Toyotas, the Hondas, not European. Okay, you flip that and it unlatches your. I just yeah. said, okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, that was a unique feature that uh, Tommy Bard had come up with. Okay, very nice, nicely done. This, wow, get a get a overall view of the front end here. Just like your Cadillac, you got multi lights on the front of it. That's correct. These are these are running lights. Uh, everything is 12 volt, and we got. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, these are not how these are, these are. They're not halogen. They're um. And they're standard standard bulbs. Yeah. Uh, what do you call them? I can't call them anymore, my man. Seal beams. Okay. I guess they work good enough. Yeah, though. it has a a dual heating and cooling system in the car. Wow, dual meaning you got one in the back of this thing. Front and rear. Yeah, has a TV in the rear. Uh huh. Has uh, all the sound system in it. All right. Four, Fourteen hides of aircraft leather. Wow. In the car, in the front, rear, and the trunk. Mm-hmm. Well, let's check out the interior. It's uh, the blue color is matching the paint on this thing. That's blue leather, aircraft That's leather. That's aircraft leather. Mm -hmm. That happens to be a, a wire wheel for another car. I need to take it out. All this is the original burl walnut. Mm hmm. So. Has a division window. We put a uh, window out of an S10 that slides. We put an electric motor on it, it'll slide. Really? So this Open is a, this is the back glass to an S10 with an electric motor that slides the glass back and forth. Correct. Oh, cool. <laughs> we needed the space to go up and down. Yeah. So I've got cavities in here for the AC, the, okay. elect, the electrical. Yeah. All right. Got you. Power windows. It's loaded, people. This thing is cool. Wow. Lots of leg room in the back. Man, you could uh. Yeah, you can sit down. There's a TV in the back also. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, you were telling me a while back that uh. Yeah, you take your grandkids to the proms and the dances and all that, boy, yeah, I bet they, they really enjoy that. They, en they enjoy it. Yeah, that is real cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, I could imagine what they say. Let's get Grandpa to <laughs> tote us around in his limousines. Yeah, very nice, Jerry. <laughs> we don't allow smoking or drinking oh, in, the, back no, 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 in no. the car. Of course not. <laughs> you wouldn't want to stink up a car like this. No, sir. Very nicely done, Jerry. This I have is... one little trick I'll show mm -hmm. you. Smaller than it came originally. Correct. Okay. 
Wow. It, it does have the tilt column. Yeah, tilt steering wheel. Yes, sir. Automatic on the column. Yes, sir. All right, All so. Power windows. All right, you were showing me something in the trunk a while ago. That photo album you got, the before shots. People, there's a lot of man hours went into this thing. And he's got it documented and all. And if you will, Dollar Bill, step back here and we're gonna get a before shot. You just wouldn't believe what this car looked like when he started. Uh, can you get into the trunk sure. and show us a picture of that? That is awesome, Jerry. Uh, this car came a long way. It was not a cream puff when you got it, was it, Jerry? Far from it. Far from it. All right. Yeah, flip to some of these photos. There's the man hours. Okay. 2,930 labor hours on this thing. Always good to keep your documentary there. I don't know if you can see that picture. Well, flip over to the side view. I saw a really good one in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. This thing was beat up with rust. Where'd you find this car at, Jerry? In Waterloo, Iowa. Okay. Well, there was not much rust in. There was a lot of surface rust. Mm -hmm. What was bad was all the wood in the doors. Yeah, gotcha. The wood was deteriorated. All right. Well, you know what, Jerry? Us car guys out here in the world, we honor people that can go do this. You're keeping the industry alive, sir. And uh, that is, that's highly honored. Well, thank you. We, we're so glad that people are out there trying to do this. Look at that. It's all been painted. Wow. Yeah, I hope the camera picks this up quite good. All insulated. Oh, yeah. Still has the blue tires. Yeah. You have to wash them. You have to wash the blue off to turn them white. Where'd you get a set of tires like that, Jerry? Diamondback Classics in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Okay, cool. Well, that's about it. All right. Nice show, Jerry. Well, thank you. So you've won, I, I bet you you've won quite a few trophies and things with this car, right? Well, uh, there's a few. I, I'm not really a trophy person. Okay. But it, it has, it does get a lot of attention. I'll bet. It gets a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. What's the, what's the biggest show you've uh, took this thing to? What are we looking at here? That's at Hilton Head at the concourse. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Okay. Oh, Deliance. Okay. And it it made it in the top 20. Uh, that's the date on the back there. Mm-hmm. The date reads... Where does it? Uh, Peach State Cadillac LaSalle, Jerry, and 1937 limo. Okay, well... I don't remember what. It's 2008. Oh, 2008. Yeah, November the 1st, 2008. Okay. Nice. Man, I appreciate you showing it to us, Jerry. That's awesome ride, dude. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you out in this thing. Yes, sir, you over. will. All right. Okay, now, now we ain't done yet, people. The milkman has another delivery from Jerry here. He's also got some other stuff we're going to check out. So let's... Bring another one out. Hey, see man. It, Jerry. We just found out that Jerry, he's interested in selling this thing. Uh, you saw it a while ago, and you see how good it runs. Uh, this thing is its very awesome work of art here. Jerry, uh, now why would you want to sell something like this out of your collection? Well, I've owned it about 10 years, and I've enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and uh, it's time to move on. I've got several more I need to put in here. Got you more projects to more come in More projects to come. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, all righty. And uh, I, like somebody to enjoy it like I've enjoyed it. Oh, I'm sure a anybody would want, want to ride around in this thing, man. That's a, that's a beautiful ride. So I guess so you can uh, you can contact us at uh, Random Rides at uh, randomrides53 at gmail.com and give us your information and all, and we'll swap information out here with Jerry and see what you can come up with. Hey man, we're standing here looking at a, a fine little Packard here. It's uh looks Tim, like it, Tim, it's a big Packard. It's a big Packard. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, okay. You want don't want to call it a fine Packard? You want to call no, it I a big you, Packard? I thought you said a small Packard. Oh well, no. This car don't look very small. It's uh it is a two door, but it's not uh it's not exactly a small car. No, sir. It's a 141 inch wheelbase, Super 8, one of eight. Okay, a Super 8. Yes, sir. There's only eight of these built. 
Right, that's, man, that's rare. Yes, sir. Has a mother-in-law seat in the back, uh, or better known as a rumble seat. Okay. Has the golf doors on the side. It weighs uh, almost 4,200 pounds. Mm -hmm. It has a new LS3, 480 horsepower, 475 foot-pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. Has a new 4L70 automatic overdrive transmission. Has a 9-inch forward rear end, a 389 gear. Okay. Um, that's about all I can tell you about the drivetrain. Has two floor pans in it there with about two inches of foam between the two floor pans to cut mm -hmm. down on, on noise. Wow. All the wood's been removed out of the inside and replaced with steel. Uh-huh. Well, that's a common thing to get rid of that wood, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Fire hazard. <laughs> uh, this car come from southern Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I called the lady. I didn't know it was a lady that owned it. Mm -hmm. I called her for a year trying to get in about this car. And finally, she answered the phone one day. And we talked a little bit. And I said, you guys must stay on vacation a lot. <laughs> she said, no, we're beekeepers. Beekeepers. I said, what the devil is a beekeeper? She said, we have 35,000 beehives. Wow. And, and we move them from Minnesota to Texas. That's a lot of bees. That's a lot of bees. So we, we struck up a conversation, and uh, the next day, I sent her a deposit on the car. Okay. And well, Now, was this an in shambles, too, when you found it? No, no. This, this, the... this, this car, they were repairing it to have in their son's wedding. Oh, okay. They had just put a brand, had the engine rebuilt, the big straight eight. Mm-hmm. They had just had the body painted. They had just done all of the chrome work and put uh, four new wide whites on it. Wow. I brought it home and destroyed it. I took all the... You took everything I apart. I took everything apart. You gotta do it Jerry style. You gotta do it my way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. And I'm glad we did, cause they, the body guy covered up a lot of stuff. Yeah, gotcha. Covered up a lot. Even even if that thing had holes in it, Jerry, you're not going to go find one of these laying around no, just sir. anywhere. So, no. so it looks like you did an excellent job putting the body back together. Now, did you uh, pick that color out yourself? Is that? Yes, sir. Okay. It was probably a different color when you bought it. Oh, it was black. Okay. Gotcha. Wow. Yep. I'm looking at some numbers on the firewall up here. 258911. What is it? Those are VIN numbers. Okay. They stamp them right on Our the body, firewall. Body numbers, I should say. Okay. All right. I've just never seen any stamp clearly right there on the body in big bold letters like that they're actually raised yes sir that's pretty neat wow man would did that grill come with that thing look at that That grill come that, with that, it that thing's smiling at you every time you walk in your garage right Jerry? <laughs> well it, it it makes a uh <clears throat> makes an impression there yes sir yeah. that's the focal point of the car so you got the hood and all that the original stuff absolutely it? yeah you got everything for it yeah we're Just, fixing to pull the engine back out mm -hmm. we got to do a little work on the suspension and hopefully very shortly we'll be driving it gotcha that cover on the engine the same color as the car does that cover come on the motor is that original yes, yes sir the covers come with it we, we did a little uh we did a little modification mm -hmm. let me grab the cover yeah let me show you. oh yeah let's check it out yeah i'm looking at this motor this is uh this this little late model running gear looks all brand new yep he does have a a cover he's gonna put on there okay it's labeled packard ls3 <laughs> that's cool <laughs> well the ls3 naturally is the chevrolet gotcha yeah right? oh yeah and we want to make it a packard ls3 oh yeah <laughs> you know i'm i'm a gm fan myself i don't think you could have picked a better running gear for your rides oh no sir. those running gears that type of engine just it's just awesome man they're so dependable. They're very dependable. Yeah. This is aluminum radiator I had made, and we run the um, Lincoln Town Car fans. They just work so much better than the aftermarket. Okay. Real quiet. Wow. Okay. This is the battery. Mm -hmm. There's two covers that go over it. The computer goes in here. Yeah. And I was going to say, where are you going to hide the brain that runs the throttle body and all that, or the it'll injection? Be, it'll be in this compartment here. Gotcha. And you got a cover There's for that. There's two doors that go in here. And you, you, Gotcha. Easy to remove. Nice. And if you will check these door handles, Tim. These, wow, these door handles. Look at this. Once again, did you have to refurbish these handles? No, sir. Well, we re-chromed them. Okay. Now listen to the door. 
Wow. I'll let you push it. Okay. Wow, nice and tight. Beautiful. Stainless steel hinges once again, right? Correct. Here's the golf doors. There's one on each side. Okay. This holds your golf clubs or whatever. Correct. Back, back Correct. in what year? 1936. Gotcha. Some guy with that's into golfing is going to have one of these and wow, man. This is awesome. The to open the mother-in-law seat is a little trigger in the back. You flip it. Okay. Then you put your mother-in-law back here. <laughs> okay. There's the steps. Up. Yep. Steps to the. Uh, a lot of folks refer to them as rumble seats. Correct. Yeah. Correct. But you're calling it a mother-in-law mother seat. seat. Okay. This is the spare tire. Mm -hmm. This particular model, the eight of them made, uh, had the spare on the rear. There was some of them that had the dual side mounts, some that did not. Okay. It just makes it a little bit rare because it's back wow, here. Wow, love the, love the body styles on these. Look how that just flows back like that. that. That's beautiful. Love the body styles. Of course, I'm a big fan of fat fenders and the old 50s on down, man. I love these things. Fat fenders and running boards. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. And sitting here right next to it, people, this... I want to say it's a two-door Cadillac. What is this, Jerry? This is a 34 Cadillac Coupe. Okay. There was less than 100 made of this wow. particular this car. Wow, this is another one that you just won't find laying around just anywhere. No, sir, you won't. This car come out of Pittsburgh. Okay. Pennsylvania, I'm sorry. All right. And it's been completely redone. Yeah. It has too much horsepower under the hood. Too much. It has a 500 Cadillac built with two four barrels. Wow. Two... 700 overdrive. Okay, this is not fuel injected then this is no, carbureted it's carbureted with two two four barrels on it <laughs> okay but it, it's going to have a new ls3 in it oh okay got this you is, this is just too much motor uh, so you have not personalized this one you just yet this is one of your projects got you well i, I got it it was it's a finished car mm -hmm. and after driving a little bit um i decided it uh it's, it's not what i like okay you gotta you gotta put jerry's Jerry's ideas into well, it. Well, put put your your touches to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, every time I get one, I've always said, well, if it's eighty percent done, I gotta personalize it, put my own stuff on there, you know. Uh, and I imagine you're thinking the same way. Absolutely. Yeah. This, this is very rare. This car. Weighs, it is rare. Weighs a lot. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with the with the five hundred Cadillac motor with two four barrels if you want to go mm -hmm. real fast and stop at every gas station you go by. But I, I just um, yeah that that thing probably drinks a lot of gas. It, it's in love with gas. Yeah, man. Well, what this you... is your this is your golf door right here. Tim. Okay, you can play golf in this car too. Yes, sir. Where's the handle? There you go. Now does that go all the way through? Yes, sir. There's only there's only yeah. one on the Cadillac. Okay. All right. And this is your mother-in-law seat. Back yep, here. it's got the mother-in-law seat. Here's the chrome steps to get into it. Would you like to see under the hood? Yes, sir. We would love to see that. Uh, an original type Cadillac motor with two fours. And... Not the original motor now. Oh, okay. This is the 1970 model. A 70. Has the 500 cubic inch. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. And somebody's put polished parts on this thing and dressed it up at one time. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the gentleman that I purchased it from mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, coming from Palm Beach to Daytona, Mm-hmm. Uh, he said he was headed up to 135 miles per hour. Wow. He was out running a CTS. I told him he was crazy as <laughs> you know what, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't want to be running this car at no high speed. No. Look but, at that, the polished intake for the two fours. This is Cadillac stuff. Yes, sir. This uh, intake is unique, Tim. It is. That's what I'm... Cadillac didn't make an intake with two four barrels. Right. That's what I was... About to say, I've never seen one. This is a Ford intake that's been modified at the machine shop. Okay. So you can get a Ford with two four barrels. Gotcha. So somebody handmade this just to fit this motor. Correct. Wow. Correct. Okay. What about those valve covers? I don't guess I've ever seen those either. Th those are those are custom made. Yeah. And uh, somebody just put the Cadillac emblem right on the face of them and dressed it up. That that looks great. It does. It does look good. Man, but, that's. But in today's uh is is considered a dinosaur this yeah. engine yeah you know this engine right here 
if it were mine, you know what I'd do with that? I'd put it on an engine stand and display it in the garage, you know? Because that you clean that up, and that's a beautiful piece just to have in the garage. It's history. Yes, sir, it is. That is awesome. Wow. But hopefully shortly, this one will be running the same engine as this Packard. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, can't wait to see these two babies come down the road. Are you going to show up at our cruise in one of these one day? Well, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. I hope man. so. That would be awesome. All right, Jerry. Well, uh, I'm looking at the interior in this thing. I had to look at the seat earlier. I don't guess I've ever seen a seat like that. Let me open the door for okay. you. Okay. Hey, it, sure. it is custom made. The gentleman that uh, built this car. Okay. More. He, was, he was a pretty good sized fellow. And and this is, I forgot what you call this material. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. It is very unique. It is. But he was a, he was a good sized fellow. That's some kind of uh, weave in there or something. That's fancy stuff huh all right man i bet this thing is fun to cruise in oh it is you i've seen you drive this thing before i know it runs oh it runs it, it, it runs it runs fast yeah and as i said earlier i i, just, yeah. I can't pass a gas station yeah. though gotcha i can pass cars but i can't pass the gas yep. station gotta upgrade <laughs> all right jerry cool yeah. This one don't close as, as good as this one. Yeah, that one's really tight. Real nice. Wow. The, she, she will be, though. The, the two-door coupes are just awesome. Something you don't see anymore, hardly. No, sir. Uh, I have a uh, 1931 Cadillac Vicky oh. we're working on right now. Really? A two okay. Do, two-door, five-passenger, five five-window coupe. Wow. It's very rare. Uh-huh. And it's it has the new LS drivetrain. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully... Uh, be ready this year. All right, so that's that's one project you got elsewhere having built. Uh, is that all? No. What, uh, no, you got other other stuff too, right? Yes, sir. We have a, a 1936 Packard Super 8. No, I'm sorry, a 36 Cadillac Coupe. Okay. It has a new LS motor transmission, uh, the 4L70, mm -hmm. and it has the same front end as this Packard Coupe. It has okay. A, Dodge Dakota pickup truck front end. I guess end. they work well. They work well. All Heavy right. duty. Cool. And the car is finished. We're just ready to go to the paint shop with it. Okay. All right. Man, there's there's more to come out of Jerry's collection, <laughs> people. Wow. And I got I got a couple of couple of more that I just hadn't brought home yet. Gotcha. Okay. All right, sir. I'm Tim the Milkman and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. <laughs> 